Okay, folks, let's go ahead and work on our uh, preparation for After Effects in this uh, lesson really quickly. I'm going to go to my layers, and we had these extra layers. I'm going to go ahead and uh, make it visible in the manager and in the viewer. And here's the signs that we want to uh, kind of have a light move along them. So let's go ahead and create a light. And this is going to be a uh, light for export one uh, go to its attributes I'm gonna make sure this light is uh, has no intensity and I'm going to apply a cinema 4d tag aligned to spline tag the spline that we're gonna be using is gonna be the first spline for this case and I'm going to uh, start the animation it in somewhere about frame maybe um, 540 is gonna be enough. Let's me go back one frame to be a bit more exact and animate this thing. Go to frame uh, 500 maybe or 600 uh, exactly. So we have about 60 frame there and change this value to something like 100 and there we go. Now you have this animation and as you can see the light is moving along the spline here. Great. Now, um, the next thing that I want to make sure I have, I don't want this uh, light to uh, speed up or slow down. I want it to be completely constant and have a constant movement. So I'm going to right click on the position, go to the animation and go to the show F curves. And you can go ahead and simply uh, select the uh, spline and go ahead if you want, simply go ahead and make it a linear spline. So the speed of our uh, movement will be constant all the way through. So this is our first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, control and drag this light to create a copy and change the name to 2 and basically go to the second align to spline and we'll, we're going to be applying this uh, pass 3 here which is this one here. And now as you can see we have these movements going on and the lights are moving along and this way uh, when we actually go ahead and export our uh, a compositing project file if we include 3d data uh, these checkbox the lights are going to get exported into After Effects and uh, their movements and we will be able to simply go ahead and do that uh, the align to spline uh, tag is a sort of an expression and we can bake it and there is a possibility that the uh, that the movement of the align spline, uh, you know, wouldn't get uh, exported to After Effects. In this case, we can go ahead and actually uh, make this uh, light to the child of a null, and that a null get the align to spline tag. And this way, when we actually export the uh, include 3D data, the light will get exported, uh, having the movement that you want. But I'm not just gonna do that. I'm going to uh, just leave it like this for the moment and when we uh, come back we are gonna uh, if we had any problem inside After Effects we can uh, easily come back into Cinema 4D do the adjustment that we need and save the project file again and use that project file instead the original one that we are gonna be saving here so now we have this and the uh, next thing we're gonna be doing is to actually setting up the camera in the next section and uh, working on the final uh, tweaking and compositing and preparation depth of field and stuff like that that we really need to work on camera and after that we're ready to render and uh, see you there.